Day one, backpacking through the superstitions. Yes. And we have never backpacked before. Isn't that right? Yeah, I think we might have packed too much. Or at least I did. Yeah, she did. Too much clothes. <laughs> but our packs are both like 30 pounds. So I don't know how heavy or not heavy that is. But uh, it's our first time. And we uh, parked at the first water trailhead. And we are headed to Boulder Canyon Camp which is about a four and a half mile hike, right? Yeah, one way. Did you download the Yep. The trail? Yeah. We got we the trails on all trails. Service. So we're all good. So we also downloaded some day hikes too. Cause we'll be there for a couple nights. So we just started and it's a cool, cool part of the superstitions we've never been in before. Um, this is kind of what we're walking around right now, but there's a couple canyons I think we're going to go into and some, um, rivers or streams we're going to check out. So we're excited. Yay. Which way? Fork in the road. Second water. Second water trail. Yep. Hopefully there's not a lot of people on this trail. There was uh, quite a lot of cars in the parking lot, which was surprising. I don't know, I guess For I just Wednesday. assumed nobody would be here, but there's definitely people all around right now. I'm trying to drink more water so the load gets lighter. <laughs> what do you think so far? We're almost a mile in, so it's not really very pretty. far at all, but yeah. Almost a mile already? Yeah, almost. Would it, how long is it actually? Yeah, it's about a mile. I'd have to take my phone out, but I looked a little while ago and we were at half a mile. So probably at like 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So this is pretty cool. I haven't seen anybody on this specific trail yet, which no. is always a plus. So maybe hike another mile and then maybe take a little water break or something. Sure. Take this pack off. We have our sandwiches. It's getting heavy already. But we'll show you guys some more of the scenery as it changes. I don't know how much it's going to change, but we'll find out. This is like the first sign of water. Not water we're gonna drink though. No, we saw water back there. Yeah, I know, but this is like the biggest. Yeah, I guess we did see that one little stream, huh? Yeah, that water was flowing too. Are you feeling good? Yeah. This is the first bit of shade we've had the whole time. Right yeah, here. Not much shade. Yep. We probably could have started a little earlier. Yeah, well. Keep that in mind. Mm. Try to start as early as you can. Or come when it's cloudy. But it's not that hot. It's like what, 75? It might only be like 70. Yeah, it's not bad. Ready for a break. Ready for a break? Yeah, if we can find some dang shade. All right, well. I think I need a salty snack. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it looks like we're coming up on a canyon up here. And we're going to be descending down into it. So hopefully there's some, some uh, shade soon. We can take a break. But we're a little over two miles in. Feeling good? Yeah. Feeling pretty good. Um, a little lightheaded. A little lightheaded? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some more water. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to take this thing off for a little bit. But we're pretty much halfway there, so. So far, so good. Yeah. And right now we're kind of just in this like open desert Valley. area. We came from back there um, around those to the right. Not all the way behind those mountains, but in front of them. 
and uh, we're just headed back here to the left. I just saw a javelina, which is like a boar, if you guys don't know what that is. But it just ran across the trail real quick and went right over there. So I'm gonna see if we can find it. But um, I've only seen them like maybe three or four times. How many times have you seen them? Um, just like a handful a before, right? What'd you say? I feel like I've, yeah, maybe like five times. Five times? But um, usually they're like in our neighborhood, which is kind of weird. So this is the first one I've seen like in the wild. But I think he just ran down here. This is a big one? <clears throat> I mean, it was, it wasn't huge, but it was a decent size. I feel like they're usually always like more than one. Yeah. Dang, it must've just started like hiding in a bush or something. Cause it just shot across. And then I didn't see or see or hear anything. Well, we've seen one and it's only been like an hour. Hoping we'll see another one or a few more. And what did the person on the last um, like review or thing say? They saw a bobcat. Oh yeah. So there's critters out here. Be cool to see a bobcat. You do or don't want to see one? I think it would be cool. Yeah. Just as long as it's a I nice love bobcat. Cats, so. Oh yeah. Totally the same as a house a cat. House cat. But this we're coming cute. up on uh, this real big mountain. I'm like 90% sure this is Battleship Mountain or Battleship Rock, whatever they call it. But I got to double check on the map, but. That looks like Battleship Mountain to me. So, we'll get a little bit closer soon and hopefully uh, into some shade. All right, break time. How you feeling? Break is nice. Yeah? Some trail gummy, mix? Gummy worms and trail mix. Nice. The trail mix really hit the spot. We're three miles in, so only a mile and a half left to go but we got a pretty good view for our break. And that is Battleship Rock right there, um, that huge one. And we're gonna be hiking down kind of around to the left. So we'll be walking by it. So we'll get some more uh, up close videos of it. Should be pretty cool. And I think you can actually hike to the top. Really? Yeah, you want to? Not today. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. We just made it to a pretty cool area. It's actually the fork in the road where Second Water Trail, the one we've been on, meets Boulder Canyon Trail, which is the way we're going left to our campsite. Somewhere back there, but we're pretty up close to Battleship Mountain, and we actually hear some uh, real good flowing water. You nice. can see it right down there. So oh, that is. is a good sign. Yeah. Are we gonna have to hike back here for water? I don't know. I think I think it'll be a little closer to uh, <sighs> to our camp, but uh, we're still about a mile away. But this area is really cool, like mountains all around us and it looks like the water comes all the way from up there all the way down here so we're excited it'll be our first time filtering and drinking our own water <laughs> how do you feel about that it's cool yeah yeah i bet it'll taste so good i hope so we will find out soon. Let's get to camp. Water looks refreshing. Big jump. Be careful. I might go over there. 
Okay. Retreat. It's time to cross the first stream out of two. It's another really cool spot. Battleship Rock right there. I thought that that was, but according to the map, that's Battleship Rock, which is still really cool. But uh, maybe less intimidating to climb on top than that one on the left. But either way, got some good flowing water. And we're gonna find a place to cross over here. She is going pretty far down. Oh. But we're about half a mile out from our campsite. And then we can finally take a break, eat some uh, food, and maybe filter some water for the first time. It's a good spot to cross. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Careful. You can always like step in if you need to. Yeah, I don't want to get my whole shoe wet. Well, frick, man. All right, good job. My turn. <laughs> my turn with no sticks. Yeah, a lot harder. Oh. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Let's go. Crossing success. This is nice. All right. We just came across this area, which I thought this was a bench at first, but <laughs> I don't really know what it is. It's like a cot. It's like a cot? You gonna sleep on there? But this looks like potential first campsite. Looks pretty nice actually. Looks like people have some fires in here. But um, you know, semi-shaded. You're right in between both the uh, creeks. But we're gonna keep going to the original um, spot. Check that out. And, um, you know, worst case, this is a pretty good spot. So, I think so. What do you think? Yeah. See yeah. what else is out there, I guess. Yeah. So, maybe just hike for another half mile or quarter mile, see what we got. And then, worst case, we'll come back here. But, like I said, not too bad. All right, so we just made it to the second stream and there should be some campsites over across the way um, for us to stay at. We passed a couple more on the way in just now, but they weren't very, uh, I don't know. Aesthetic. Not very aesthetic. So we got to get something good for uh, the video. <laughs> but uh, this one should be a lot easier to cross, don't you think? Yeah, I just hope there's some good sights on the other side and we don't have to turn around. Yeah. Because that one spot looked really nice. It did look really nice. But we got a lot closer to this big mountain. And then that's the backside of Battleship Mountain, which is kind of cool. It's probably kind of small on a video. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get crossing and let's find a good spot to set up camp. My foot all wet. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, that was easier than the last one. It was, but I got wet. But this is a cool spot too. Oh, dang it. Lots of cool spots around here. 
so we ended up going across that stream looking for spots up top there was nothing um, the all trails uh, map or route just takes you to more trail so we went back down across that stream and we ended up coming back to this spot so we got a nice little pole holder this little cot or whatever that won't get used for probably anything and uh yeah this is gonna be home for the next two days so we're gonna set up tent here which will be nice probably get some um cover from the wind and stuff it's getting a little windy not too bad but yeah i think we're pretty happy with our spot yes all right we're gonna eat and then get everything set up so, so before we set up camp we decided to come down to the river and get some water it so pretty nice yeah be our first time trying filtered water which one is this platypus yeah okay how much was that can you hold this yeah uh 30 dollars on amazon okay probably could have used like a bigger bag i've seen some ones that are like pumps that you just pump out of the river looks pretty cool but yeah i'll have to show you later nice and cold yeah i think we're gonna get in too a little bit <clears throat> let's try to cool off and then after this we will go back and set up uh set up our tent These rocks are slippery. Oh. We got tent all set up. All of our stuff over here. And we are cooking dinner. Boiling some water. And we're gonna have what? Chicken coconut curry? Yes. Our first dehydrated meal. So that'll be interesting. And a bunch of clouds just rolled in. So it just got a little bit colder and a little bit darker but it's nice so we're probably just gonna make some food and then i mean once it's dark we're probably just gonna chill inside the tent watch some uh downloaded shows or something and uh yeah that's about it you having fun yeah <laughs> the last thing before bed is the sunset. <laughs> June must just fall. <laughs> Pretty nice sunset, I must say. So I guess part of the perks of backpacking, yeah? Yeah. Good sunset. Yeah. Oh, Well, the sun is setting, so we're going to watch uh, some show. What show are we watching? Um, 
Some new Netflix Pain show. Pain Hustlers. Pain Hustlers. We have a few things downloaded. I would like to watch Love is Blind. But no, not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, I also have my Kindle. That's pretty much it for the night. We're just going to be chilling in here. And we will see you in the morning for day two. What are we going to do tomorrow? Go to, um, what is it called? I La say La go Barge. to Canyon Lake, but... Either go to Canyon Lake or go to La Barge Canyon. Is that what it's called? I think uh. it's called La Barge Canyon. Looks pretty cool. So, um, mm. that's on the agenda tomorrow. And, uh, see you guys then. Morning. Morning. How'd you sleep? Okay. Pretty good, but I woke up a lot. There's lots of condensation on the tent. <laughs> oh, sun's coming out. It's almost 8 a.m. and it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. How old are you? 31. How does it feel? Feels the same. <laughs> what are you most excited about for today? Um, our long 10 mile hike. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Should be fun. All right. Day two, backpacking through Superstition Mountains. So right now, we left camp maybe 30, 40 minutes ago. Uh, we're only about a mile in, but we're heading up that way towards La Barge Canyon. How are you doing so far? Good, it's really nice out today. And it's nice because we're hiking along the river the whole time, so it's super pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of water crossings. Um, we've already crossed like four times. Um, I think we're pretty much going to be going back and forth across um, the river here like the rest of the hike until we get to the canyon so just wanted to show you guys where we're at and see you in a little bit. It's warming up so Gotta cool off a little bit. Water's nice and cold, it feels really good actually. <laughs> oh. A little refresh. <laughs> it feels good, huh? Yeah. It does. Water's so clear. Well, we're getting there, slowly but surely. So, what just happened? So we just ran into a volunteer ranger who was very helpful and uh, basically told us the hike that we were gonna do, um, Upper La Barge Canyon. He says there, there's a point where there's just this huge rock fall and it's like nearly impossible to get over. So we're kind of re, um, I guess, analyzing our hike and we might now go hike on top of Battleship Mountain, but first I think we're gonna go to Lower La Barge. He said that's the bet. That he said it's his favorite spot in all of Superstition uh, Mountains. So we're gonna go there, check that out, probably eat, hang out there for a little while, and then after that we have uh, two different ways we can go back. We can come back this way, which he said was easier, or we could go back the other way that I intended on going but he said it's kind of just more rocky, even more scrambly than this. So, um, kind of just gonna take it one step at a time and 
I guess see where the day takes us. We got all day. We got all day. It's only 11, so we'll probably get to Lower La Barge, um, I would think within the hour. Doesn't look like it's too far away, maybe 45 minutes, and uh, we'll go from there. We just crossed over from uh, one canyon into another. We pretty much just went straight incline for the last, what, 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. But uh, now you can see, we're gonna be heading somewhere down there. You can see the back of Battleship Rock, which uh, it's TBD if we're gonna do that yet, but I don't know, it looks a little sketchy. It does. He said that it, there was some parts, some parts were kind of sketchy, like really narrow. Yeah, super thin. But um, yeah, we're in a new area, which is really cool. Just opened up into this new canyon, so. Uh, still heading down to La Barge, Lower La Barge Canyon, where we're gonna have lunch and maybe go for a swim. <laughs> we'll see. We're almost at the bottom. It's starting to open up a lot. Down here. What's it called again? La Barge? Yeah, the bottom of La Barge. Lower? Lower La Barge Canyon. Looks really cool. So. Kind of our first side of it opening up. I love the superstitions because all of the like jagged rocks, like it almost looks like this just shot up from the ground, like exploded. Yeah. Super cool views. So we're gonna start making our way down there. Oh, here's one of the campsites he was talking about. Wow, look at our shit. Dang. This spot is way cooler. It is nice. I don't know, I still like our spot, but this would have been a b to get to and carry all of our But it would have been worth it to be here for two days. You think so? Yeah, look at this. Oh. Well. Next time, now we know. Now we know. So if you're looking for a camping spot, what is this? Lower, Lower La, Barge? La Barge, yeah. No, this is crazy. You see all the birds flying like all the way up there? I mean, look, you've got your water right here. You'll probably go swimming in here, it's pretty deep. It's flowing up there, it's flowing over here. And this is just unbeatable. You said there's two spots down here. Yeah, we got to keep going across, I think. Okay. Wow. We just started hiking into La Barge Lower Canyon, and it's just so cool. You have all this like slippery rock, kind of reminds us of uh, Siphon's Draw um, on Flatiron, which is another part of the superstitions, but this is just a crazy place. Can you take the video? Yeah. Can you get me this walk in here? Yeah. Can you just keep it low? I think this is probably the best section so far. Yeah. Yeah. This is a must this keeps do. Getting better. You gotta come to Lower La Barge. And we still haven't even gone around the corner yet. There's gonna be more to We're see. We're going to the right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. The narrows? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Woo. All right, so that guy down there, it's the same ranger that we saw earlier. And, uh, great, great person. Yeah, great guy to run into, Dave, volunteer ranger. 
But um, he told us that up here is kind of where there's this like big rock fall. Um, we'll get up there in a minute and show you guys. But this water right here is 25 feet deep. So we might go for a swim and uh, eat some lunch right here. This looks like a good spot. He said there's some more um, like swimming holes up there a little bit. Not quite as deep, but um, this is quite the spot to uh, set up. So, 10 out of 10. Are you jumping in? I might. So I we'll wait and find out. I want to get my clothes all wet. Yeah. Here's the rock fall area. Um, got a little waterfall back there. You can see. I don't know. I mean, I think if we were really determined, we could probably figure out a way to get up and over, but you're going to have to get wet. And then it looks like it just is really rocky past that as well. I don't know if that's something we necessarily need to do. <sighs> But I think just hanging here is a good move. Yeah, I think so. You go for a swim? Yeah. I don't really... This isn't deep enough to swim in, so I don't know what other uh, swimming hole he was talking about. Oh, uh, maybe back in there. All right, let's go swim. That was freezing cold <laughs> water. <laughs> that was fun I thought though. you were going to try to stay in longer. No, that was enough to wake me up. <gasps> it felt good, but that was just a shock to the system. Yeah, it was like ice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're cooking up some lunch. What are we having? Chicken fajita bowl and homestyle chicken and rice. Nice. Nothing like a good dehydrated meal. We'll be able to see which one's better. We haven't tried Mountain House yet, so. But these have been really good. The Peaks? Yeah. Yeah, let me see that one. Yeah, the Peak brand. Those have been delicious. The breakfast was actually like, like the egg one. It's like so much food. It was like hard to eat, but. The breakfast one was my least favorite so far. Really? The curry was really good. Yeah. So we're just making some lunch and then we'll probably head out of here and go to Battleship Mountain. Sure. Yeah? Yeah, it sounds a little scary, but I think we can do it. I mean, we're gonna have this delicious lunch. We'll be fueled up. We got plenty of water, so we might as might well. Might as well, yep. What else are we gonna do? Just chill here. He said it was kind of like Angel's Landing vibes, so we'll, we'll let you know. What do you think? They're both really good actually. <clears throat> this is the chicken fajita bowl from uh, Mountain House. Got a good little like flavor kick, spiciness to it. But this other one, the um, home style chicken and rice. What brand is this? Peak. Peak. This one, nice creamy sauce. Like it's the perfect combo. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. one two combo. So. Yeah, I'm happy with it.
So right now we are sadly leaving Lower La Barge. Uh, such a cool spot. You got to check out if you come here. Um, and now we are planning on trying to hike up there, a Battleship Mountain. But uh, it might be kind of hard to tell from the video, but there's a lot of like really just narrow um, points that you like... literally just hike along the top of it, he was saying. Yeah, you start up here like... and make your way just all the way over, but there's like some real yeah. big dips. So we don't really know what to expect, but... Uh, it looks a little sketch, but we'll see. Yeah, looks sketch. When you're actually up there. We're gonna check it out, and worst case, we can turn around. So, um, we'll show you guys around once we get up top. So we just made it to the top beginning section of um, Battleship Mountain. So, this is what you can see from down low. Everything's like on the other side of it, but from here you get some really good views. You can see uh, Weaver's Needle all the way out there. You can see the uh, river down below. And you can just see all these mountains. And you. And that there's nothing around us. So, yeah, we're gonna try to figure out how to get up this. It looks like there's a trail right up there on the corner. It maybe goes around, but uh, wish us luck. We started going down the trail for um, Battleship Mountain. And we come to, come to a point that I think is maybe a little too sketch. Um, you basically have the edge of the cliff right here. And this little uh, trail you're supposed to try to get through. Then there's that boulder in the middle of the way. Lots of loose gravel. Oh yeah, a lot of loose gravel. And the only other way to get up there would be to kind of like rock climb this, but... Um, yeah, I just don't think it's a good idea. I don't want to lose you on your 31st birthday. So kind. But um, I guess one benefit of Battleship Mountain is that I got service for the first time. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't send any texts, but I just got a bunch of texts. So if you're in dire need of service and you have T-Mobile, come up here. Do you have service? I don't think so. Okay. But I mean, from up here, you get really, really good views. Like I showed you earlier, you've got a weaver's needle over there, which is pretty far in the distance. But this is the uh, river that we came in on this morning. So our camp is like back down there. It's actually underneath the very edge of uh, Battleship Mountain. So looks like we're going to head back down there and um, make our way back to camp. Maybe chill in the water for a bit I don't know we'll see but we're getting off this sketchy uh, cliff side <laughs> yeah it's too bad it could have been fun could have It is our third and final day. We just packed up camp. We're still packing up a little bit. Just drinking our coffees. And um, gonna probably be out of here in the next 20 minutes or so. And we got, what, a four mile hike back? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so about four miles back to the car and then we're going home. What'd you think? Ready to shower, but <coughs> I can't wait to go do another one. Yeah? Yeah. Where do you want to go next? I want to do West Fork. <laughs> I think that would be fun. Yeah, so. West Fork, Sedona. That one looks super cool. But sad to go, but it was fun. So, yeah. Cheers. Cool.
three days? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was your buddy down there. He's been out here for five days. Oh, wow. Oh, I, yeah. think, I think we, we talked to him. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Howdy. Hey. Hi. Beautiful horses. It's a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. We gotta get some horses. Yeah, you you paying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this gets How enough views. I have no idea. Like twenty thousand dollars or something? That sounds cheap. We made it back to the car. How you feeling? Like a weight is lifted off my shoulders. Yeah. Seriously. Well, three days in the Superstition Mountains, I'd say 10 out of 10. What do you What do you think? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Can't wait to come back. Yeah? Yeah. Go back to the same spot? No. Yeah, we'll go somewhere new. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna make a separate video on kind of like where to camp, um, what we would have done differently, just because now that I've been out there, um, we know like all the different spots. Um, really liked our campsite, but I probably would have picked something on the water. Uh, just would have made things a little bit easier, but um, still, we were super happy. 10 out of 10, so keep a look out for that video, and um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>